take a moment to look around in order to familiarize yourself. Live well, uh, busy seat for departure. YouTube, we are in Mexico today. I'm here with my tia Lupita. Say hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, YouTube. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and she's gonna show us. To me, this is one of the most beautiful cities, of course, because yes. I grew up here, and I want to show you guys all about this. You may see behind me these little colorful houses, and you're gonna see these tunnels. This is what Guanajuato is famous for. All right, so. We're going to show you around the city. You ready to go? Yeah, yeah? let's go. In Guanajuato, solamente se dice que existen dos calles. Okay. La que va por abajo. Uh huh. Y la que va para y para regresar <laughs> tienes que regresar por arriba. Yeah. <laughs> Vamos al callejón del beso. Vamos, yo te sigo. Okay, so now you guys see we're above ground, and I'm very out of shape. In Guanajuato, you got to be really in shape because there's a lot of hills and a lot of steps everywhere. ¿Se me entiendes? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, so this is a very famous street. Guanajuato is known for its very, very small streets. This one is known as El Callejón del Beso. And the reason it's known that is because these two houses, let me show you. Ellos se enamoraron. El papá de el papá de ella lo sorprendió besándose y mató a su hija. This is the Guanajuato Romeo and Juliet story. Yes. <laughs> the gentleman and the lady were uh, of different classes. Yes. And when the father caught his daughter kissing the the gentleman, he actually killed her. But uh, so that's sort of the story of El Callejón del Beso. And uh, let me introduce you to my friend here. ¿Cómo se llama esta? Oh, es una momia. <laughs> bueno, no es real en este caso. Pero... But a lot of people don't know, tía, I don't want to cut off my tía, but a lot of people <laughs> don't know that Guanajuato has a lot of mummies. Uh, yes. Most people don't know anything about uh, that mummies would exist in Guanajuato. Um... And the reason for that is because the ground has a lot of minerals yes. and it turns people into, into mummies. La Plata. Ah. Esta es una ciudad este, de donde se extraen eh, de las minas. Uh -huh. Y bueno, um, esto es algo que se puede encontrar aquí en Guanajuato. Uh -huh. So as you guys can see, the city, the, the buildings are a little bit, you know, stacked side by side. And that's because Guanajuato doesn't have a lot of space to grow. It's surrounded by these, um, it's surrounded by these mountains. And the reason that Guanajuato is even a city is because there was a lot of minerals that were found in these mountains, a lot of silver, as we showed you guys. Uh, I don't really think there was any gold. No. It's necessary to have a good condition. <laughs> <laughs> to, live in, to live in Guanajuato, you gotta be in shape. Or the city, will, the city will put you in shape, that is for sure. So, where we're headed right now, is called La Plaza Unión. And the reason I want to take you there is that it's because it's kind of the heart of the city. And it, it is one of the most beautiful spots in the entire city. And I want to explain that a little bit, but I am going to catch my breath. And uh, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of the view here. Now, my aunt was saying, I'll show you right now. <laughs> you can see that. <laughs> There's really not a lot of room through these streets, okay? It's either the car or the people, but not both. It's really, really narrow. And then, surprise, the University ah, of yes. Guanajuato. Okay. Come on! <laughs> so Guanajuato is a sort of a... Guanajuato is a very international city. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of students from all over the world. Mayan is telling me that there's a lot from Asia, which is... Uh, uh -huh. Asia, que Canadian. Canadians that come here and they learn Spanish, but they also go to the university here. They also take classes. Yes. Yes. So, 
Uh, I think it's one of the most beautiful buildings in all of Guanajuato. And where we're gonna go, if we get a chance to go today, we're gonna be able to see it from a very scenic view. Shall we continue? Yes. All right, let's go. Guanajuato is a maze of little streets and little, little alleyways, so it can be easy to get lost. too hot for us to be wearing the masks and it's uh, we're out in the open so we took them off um, now some of you guys that have been watching my channel for a long time you guys have known that in Macau there are churches everywhere so the oh, Portuguese yes. love to build churches but also same here in Macau there is a church everywhere you look you saw there was a church behind us and there's gonna be now this is the main church of all of Guanajuato yes, yes. and what is the name of this church Tia? La Basilica. Uh huh. Así le dicen, nada más la Basilica. Okay, so the name of this church is called La Basilica. It's here on my left. I'm going to give you guys a quick view of it. Okay, so you guys can see behind me is the church. This is La Basilica. This is the main church of, of here, the city of Guanajuato. And also, uh, something that a lot of people may not know is Guanajuato is also the name of the state. All right? And Guanajuato is also the name of the capital city. So just a little bit in case you guys look up where we are to make it a little confusing. But this, this area right here to me is also one of the most beautiful areas. It's got the very uh, traditional Spanish architecture that the Spanish left us. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing they couldn't take, so they left, they left the buildings. <laughs> so uh, sorry to my friends in Spain, but it's a little bit true. I have a, a couple questions for my tia that might be a little interesting. So Only a couple. Only a couple. Okay, we're going to keep it simple. <laughs> no, <it's> so, okay. <laughs> tia Lupita, how many years have you lived in Guanajuato? Oh, my God. 28? 28 years? Yes. Okay, wow, that's a long time. And tell me, what is, for someone who lived here so long, what is your favorite thing about the city? Guanajuato is a beautiful city. Uh, it's amazing place. There are a lot of students, uh -huh. uh, people, the different cultures. Uh, you, you can interact. The, the place is unique. Now we are here in El Jardín de la Unión. I'm gonna give you guys a view. Now, what I really like about El Jardín de la Unión is that this is where all of the oh, really sort of beautiful things in Guanajuato happen. And the reason for that is you have to understand a little bit about how cities and towns in Mexico are built. Behind me, you're gonna see the big, um, this, is the, this is what we would call the garden. And inside the garden, I'll give you guys a look in a little bit, is the kiosk where a lot of music is played primarily on the weekend, okay? And then in front of me, we have here, we have here obviously the church, and then over on the left, we have El Teatro Juarez, which, is, is an active theater. They're still having uh, things happening in this theater. There's still events. I have been inside of it. It's a beautiful, beautiful theater. The reason I'm telling you all this is because towns and cities in Mexico are built in this template. And this is obviously handed down to us from the Spanish, where the only thing that's missing here is the government building. When you think of towns and cities in Mexico, you're gonna find the main square, then you're gonna find pretty close the church, and you're gonna find where the main or the regional government of that area is. So I, I wanna show you guys that because that's a pattern that repeats itself in a lot of towns in Mexico. And I'll talk about that more later.
I recommend it. I recommend you take the funicular. Do not try to walk up to the El Pipila. <laughs> <laughs> so up here, you're gonna find a lot of shops, maybe a little bit of food. So behind us is the monument to El Pipila, who is a famous hero here in Guanajuato who led sort of the insurrect insurrection against the Spanish. He put a stone on his back and helped raid the local granary, which the Spanish held. So enough about the history lesson. Let me show you guys this beautiful, beautiful view. We're gonna try to angle this so you guys can also see the city while me and my tia Pita explain what's going on. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? Para explicarlo. Yeah. So behind us, you can see in this green space, that is where we were in front of the church there. That is El Jardín de la Unión. Yes. Yes. And over there in that orange church, that is the church that we walked by to. That's the Basilica de Guanajuato. That's the main church. And then the white building is La Universidad de Guanajuato. That is sort of the uh, central area here in Guanajuato. But as you can see, it is a maze of little streets and little alleys. Guanajuato is in the center surrounded by mountains. That's why all the little houses are stacked on top of each other. And you can see the very traditional Mexican colors in the, in the orange, in the red, in the pink. Todos los colores mexicanos. Yes. <laughs> all right, everyone. Well, today was just supposed to be a little taste of the city of Guanajuato. We have a lot more videos to make. I'm gonna be here for a little while. I wanna show you guys, a lot of people are asking me, well, what is Mexico? You know, what is the culture? I don't worry, I'm gonna get into all of it, the culture, the food, as much as I can. So, I'm staying with my tia here, Lupita. She's taking great care of me. Thank you so much, I love you so much. Me do, you, too. do you want to say anything to the people on YouTube? See you next time. All right, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.